Hello and welcome back. We hope you enjoyed your tea and biscuits during the break. We're just getting started here. Still to come. We talked to fashion guru Richard Kalapo Ajala to get the lowdown on budget summer fashion. Alongside Richard, we'll also have professional makeup artist of the stars Lucy Dello here to show us how to get that hot summer look. Plus the entertaining bar flaring expert Matthew Cotter. And finally, the hugely talented Paige Maguire is here to play us out her new single, L-O-V-E. Now here on Today, we realise that as parents, it can seem difficult to get that hot look for the summer. Not only is it time consuming, but there's the added pressure of getting the right look for the right money. Joining us now in our studio is the very own Mr. Fashion himself. It's Richard Kalapo Ajala. He went onto the streets of London this week to find that summer look so you don't have to. Guys, um, how are you both? Good, thanks. Yeah, good. good. We've also got Lucy here, who um, is a, a makeup artist. And what we're going to do, guys, you're going to help us, help everyone with uh, the summer trends. What are the big summer trends this summer, Rich? Um, well, we've got four main trends. We've got um, tailoring, prints, 70s, and um, with more colour blocking. Colour blocking. Look. And that's the same for men and women, is it? This yeah. Year? And, and makeup? It's just um, sort of pastel colours for the summer. I know the only trends. way is Essex was, was big this year. Is it like fake tan after fake tan? Is that, it's is not that? as much as that, no. It's not? It's more just subtle, but with more Bond spaces. OK. So we've got two models with us. Uh, we're going to bring them out one by one. We're going to start with Emma. Sorry, we're going to start with Rory. My apologies. Um, Rory's looking very dapper. Rich, do you want to talk us through that? This is a quite a cheap outfit, isn't it? Okay, yeah, this outfit is like completely from the, um, the high street. We've got an Aztec print um, t-shirt, which goes with the print trend that we had um, earlier on. Um, £25 um, shorts from Uniqlo and £8 deck shoes from Primark. Okay, and, and how much did it all cost? Um, this, all of the whole outfit comes under £60. Wow, that's, that's very cheap, isn't it? And this Aztec print, is it just Aztec or is there, what, um, what kind of patterns and prints are is in trend this is? Uh, tribal's quite a big print, um, Aztec, and just, you know, florals, obviously, for women's wear. Okay. And is there, you spoke of colour blocking, does that occur with men's stuff here? Is that what you're going for? Um, not in this particular outfit, but on the, um, the catwalk, we have seen quite a lot of co colour blocking from people like Jill Sander. And Rich, talk to me about the shorts. Back in the day, they used to be pretty baggy. You had to be below the knee, otherwise you look silly. Now, Rory's got some pretty tight um, shorts on there. Yeah, um, as I say, we've why got, is that? We've got um, a tailoring trend that's going on in menswear, so it's cut above the knee. I mean, you can roll it up if you want to. And because um, it's quite, um, quite a simple idea, it can be dressed up or dressed down. It can apply to the older generation also. And quickly, the, the boat shoes, that's, that's a big trend this summer, is it? Um, yeah, boat shoes have uh, come in quite a lot in the summer, mm. so they've become quite popular. Okay, I'll tell you what I like about this outfit. You know, he's been cautious, he's got a little jumper around the neck, that's nice. My mum always said, you can always add, you can never minus. Rory, very clever. Okay, let's swap. Emma, it's our female model, she's going to come out. And uh, she's looking very lovely in a very summery outfit. Um, Lucy, let's look at the makeup first. Um, what sort of makeup has Lucy got on there? Um, around the eyes, it's just creams and browns, just to keep it subtle for the summer and then foundation would be the same tone as the natural skin tone and then a bit of bronzer and then a pale pink sort of neutral colours along the lips. Okay and so in the winter I seem to see quite a lot of, sort of red lipstick does that sort of go away a little bit in the summer is it a bit more of a natural look? Um, it is still around but it's more neutral colours. Mm. And, and you're hoping with the bronzer I guess Put a bit of colour in, in, the, in the cheeks, yeah. is that right? Make them look a bit more tan, but not too much, as we said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And the outfit, Rich, talk to us about that. Okay, so here we have um, a tangerine overbag top, uh, which was £23 from Zara, some £25 um, high waist ivory shorts, which goes with the 70s uh, look, and some accessories. You can see some big sunglasses. And cool. And those white shorts are, um, I mean, Emma can pull them off, but uh, not everyone can pull them off. If you're a little bit older, maybe you don't want to get, get the thighs out, you don't want to wear white hot pants, uh, what's, what's, a diff what's an alternative that you can use this summer? Okay, so the trend for women's wear is actually high-waisted shorts, so um, if you're not looking to do that, you can always 
change to go with the 70s vibe to a high waist jean. Right, and, and talk to us about the colour blocking because that's, that's definitely evident here, isn't it? Okay, yeah, so with the tangerine top, we, it's quite bright, it's quite vibrant, so you simplify it with your accessories and just go with some white shorts. Okay, oh, great. And the, that orange, not every skin tone could wear orange, is that right, Lucy? Um, it does go with both skin tones, pale and tanned. Um, I'd say it'd go more with a tanned skin tone. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So we're going to have some amazing bar flaring now with Maisie. Maisie, take it away. We would like to introduce you to a young barman responsible for a lot more than pulling pints. Matthew Cotter is a flaring bartender working for the chain of American-themed restaurants, thank God it's Friday, more commonly known as TGI Fridays. He is here today to do a live demonstration and make us some gorgeous summer cocktails. Okay, Matthew, firstly, for us that don't really know what bar flaring is, can you explain exactly what a bar flare is? <laughs> well, basically, back in the 80s when Fridays was first originated, they'd done a sort of tournament to show showmanship and creativity and what you can do, different styles, different uniques. Um, first started off in about 1986. Yeah. The start of flare competition. From there, it just exploded onto the scene with technicality, creativity, all being marked individually. Now, in the modern day, you've got such characters as Tom Dyer, Jay Tway, Nicholas St. John, all started at Fridays and yet completely exploded into the industry. Amazing, it yeah. Completely set the standard for the rest of us. Of course. And you say it was started off at TGI Fridays. Obviously, other industries, didn't they mm. start it off as well? Well, like I said, Tom Dyer, he's been one of the more prominent figures in the industry. He started his own flair company, and then from there, he started his own little competitions, winning the Fridays Championships, and then now he's gone on to a produced a world tour. World tour, so yeah. you could be competing in that? Oh, maybe in a few years' time. Maybe in a few years' time. Before the show, you said to me um, the final competition's in Vegas. Was that for the same competition? Yeah, correct. The Sky Vodka um, competition that Tom Dyer sponsors, yeah. everyone will be competing at. Amazing, and it's more than just sort of serving a drink. It's, yeah. it's entertainment at the same time as well. Yeah, that's what Flair's all about. It's not just about throwing bottles, it's about showing your personality, your pride and your passion, or what you can show and bring to the table. Awesome. Are you going to share us a few yeah, drinks? Yeah, why not? Amazing. I'll step out the way. <laughs> Sometimes I get a hop in my back. Sometimes I'm going over here. Sometimes. I'm not going to be able to do it as well as you did. Uh, we'll start <laughs> off a nice and simple one. We're going to do an arm roll. Right. We're going to hold the tin out like that. Okay. Keep your arms straight, keep your eye on the ball, and you're just going to roll it down your front, okay? Give it a go. I'm going to try after yeah. you, yeah. Just like that, nice and simple. Keeping your eye on the tin and your arms straight. There we go. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Almost. I'll try again. Ready? There okay. we go. Bang I kind on. of caught it. I was a bit cheating there, but you All know. Right. You want to learn another one? Yeah, go for All it. Right. We're going to do a wrist flick, okay? So just in your hand, hold it like you're going to like strangle someone, That's and true, then flick okay. it, and flick it. There right, we go. That was more in the of air. A, um, a chuck, but just as good. Okay, yeah, Bang almost. <laughs> I'm so not quite sorry. as good as you. Okay, so how long did it take you to learn that? Because I mean, that didn't come naturally to me whatsoever. Well, I've been working for Fridays for about nine months now, and pretty much just sort of got into it gradually as I learned new cocktails. I thought, why not try something different? So I start practicing every day, bought a flare bottle since I started and just pretty much been a gradual test and then hopefully one day I'll be able to compete with Tom Dyer. Amazing, let's hope so. So it took you, how long roughly did it take you? Was it months, was it weeks, days? Well, it just depends. It's sort of like a form basis, like a sport. So you really go for off peak and bad peak and sort of stuff like that. But to flare, it's really your own determination. So it really took me about a couple of weeks really to get it down on the head. Couple of weeks, and you said earlier before the show, you said um, that you practice two to three hours a day. You try to. Yeah, I try to. That's that's pretty cool. That's I mean, that's that's pretty hard. I mean, I couldn't uh, honestly like after one minute, I just couldn't do it. But um, yeah, what else was I going to ask you? What's been your biggest BFF? Oh, I'm probably nearly hit the guest at one point. Really? Yeah, it's been very embarrassing. Nearly chucking bottles around and thinking, yeah, it's fine. And get a little bit too cocky, and then bang. That's the biggest bar flare fumble. Okay, so you need to knock some guests out. Yeah, they're great. That's not cool. All right then. Um, so this drink here, that's the not so Cosmo. Not so Cosmo. Correct. Okay, and this is non-alcoholic. Yeah. Well, basically, when we said we we're going to come here, we we're going to do a summer cocktail, something for the family, something like can drink. So uh, done on our research, we found the Cosmopolitan was the most popular drink. Yeah. So therefore, we thought we'd do a non-alcoholic version. Amazing. Can you show us it? Yeah, sure. Brilliant. Why not? 
Well, the first ingredient, very vital, cranberry juice. Uh huh. And to supplement the alcohol, we're going to use orange juice as our orange liqueur. A little bit of lemon juice. And you can use, instead of lime juice, you can use lime squeezes just to get a texture on the front sure, of it. Sure, so use fresh lemon as well. Nice to fill it up. Give a good hearty shake to aid dilution. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's my time, that's my cue. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just <laughs> in time. Cosmo, not so Cosmo, right? Not so Cosmo. Yes, and then strain it just to get rid of the ice particles. Wow. Ladies first. Ladies, well, well that's you, surely. Sorry, yeah. Tastes good, yeah. zesty. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all we have time for, for on today. Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> Join us tomorrow we have to discuss the issue that surrounds premature babies. Maisie gets her feet nibbled by a fish. That should mm -hmm. be interesting. And we'll be taking a look at the perfect menu for the grandest of summer feasts. But for now, we're very privileged to welcome a young lady with one hell of a voice. To play us out today, here's Paige Maguire with an acoustic version of her single, L-O-V-E. Take it away. Under that when I saw your face, you make me feel so far from grace and I don't care what you say. Beautiful, and I can't let you go. Oh, no, I know that when I get that feeling, there is no other meaning for the things I'm thinking late at night. It's so scary, I think I give myself a little love pride. At first I thought you weren't all right, I'm not gonna lie But now I'm amazed at how you changed my life You're a bit of a loser but I wouldn't want to lose if anyone else You don't compare to Saturday but you like a Sunday morning When you think you're getting cereal But you wake up to bacon, oh what a nice surprise just like you I can put my trust in Cause I'm me 